and <laughs> that was so loud. I finished a sketchbook, so I decided to do a sketchbook tour. Yeah, this is uh, a sketchbook I just finished recently, and I have lots of Ghibli stickers on the front. So let me just quickly go over some things about it. Is that um, I actually got this sketchbook like uh, Christmas in 2019, I think. I think it was a Christmas. And um, I drew in it like a couple times, but uh, then we uh, were renovating a house. So I didn't end up like drawing in it and it got like put away. And uh, then I started school and I ended up drawing in it more. So yeah, that's kind of like the story. That's why it's like, it's taking me a long time to get through this sketchbook. And so I finally came back to it and I finished it. So let's get into the sketchbook. I'm covering up a password that I have right here. So my hands are here. Uh, so the first page I did was I decided to do a three color challenge. And uh, so I drew kind of like an emo looking boy. I remember liking this one a lot. I think she turned out really cute. I called her the Kettle Corn Princess. And uh, yeah, I also remember really liking this fairy. And I liked doing that so much, I did it again on the next page. So um, I remember my family members really liking uh, this one right here, the little cat hoodie boy. I think I got some inspiration off of like something I found on Pinterest at that time and I thought it was really cute. I can't remember right now. And I drew a couple other ones. I remember liking this one as well. I think she's really cute. Sorry if you can hear my uh, chair creaking a lot because uh, my chair is kind of noisy. So sorry about that. And uh, so this was uh, me practicing with markers and I really wanted to make her hair look all stringy and pretty and stuff. So this was like a long time ago. I can see so many flaws with it now. Like her head is so flat on this side and her hair doesn't really make that much sense. And her eyes kind of look like they're looking in two different directions. I actually redraw this later. And I'm not quite so happy with that. There's still a little bit of flaws that I have with it, but I'll talk a little bit more about that later. Next, I have a couple of eyes that I was drawing. And I, you guys, you can see I didn't finish it. I was like coloring in the eyes. I think I was practicing like shading eyes and stuff. Uh, next, I did a style challenge, I think. I was like practicing with different styles. I This was my style at the time. And I think this is my Hero Academia art style. So, uh, and I think this is Full Metal Alchemist. I think it is. And then this is Studio Ghibli. I don't remember what this one down here is from. I can't remember. <laughs> and then this is from, I think, Studio Saloon. I think that's what it's called. Could be wrong. It's the company that uh, made Song of the Sea and uh, Sacred of Kells. And they probably made other things, but I can't remember at this moment. And uh, this was Disney style. And I think I was gonna do another style right here, but I just didn't, I just didn't finish it. Right here is where I took a break and I didn't come back for it uh, for a long time. So uh, this is when I started school and we were told to like draw shapes and shade them and stuff like that. So. That's what I did right here. <laughs> so kind of boring, but uh, then we were told to draw objects around the house and stuff. So that's what these were. So yeah, there's not much to talk about there. Uh, we were then told uh, to like draw like a character or something inspired off of the prompt flame. So I drew my OC candles and I think he's cute. And uh, I think this was like a, like, uh, timed drawing type thing. We had to like draw these certain pictures in a certain amount of time. I can't remember how much time we did, but I remember actually like doing it pretty good. And I was really proud of how, actually how fast I could get the drawings done and stuff. So over here, um, we were uh, making our own logos for our own brand. And I decided my brand was going to be Water Clover. So I inspired that off of water clover and so uh yeah and uh right here we were uh 
before finals, like a few weeks before, we were told to start brainstorming for it. So I did some brainstorming right here for my fina fin final. <laughs> uh, again, we were given another prompt and it was gear. So I drew a robot with gears in his head. So these were more graphics that we were supposed to make for our brand. This is like not for school, but um, this is, uh, I was trying to practice drawing my avatar character. Um, again, you know, for my videos. <laughs> And I'm wanting to redesign her again. She's like about a year old. I haven't used her that much, the new one that I made, but I am kind of sick of it now. And I think I should remake it again, but I'm so picky about it. So I don't know when I will remake my avatar, but I'm wanting to do it soon. Over here, I got some sketches. Like the graphite really like smudged bad in this one, like from this page to this page. It's like really badly smudged on this page. But I do like this girl, she's like super cute. I like the avocado shirt that she's wearing. It's super cute. And uh, I drew a couple other faces down here, just practicing and stuff. Over here I was drawing, uh, or I was watching Monkey Kid at the time and uh, Sad MK, some like sad stuff but I was really excited about it. So I had to draw him a lot. <laughs> he was being really angsty and stuff. Uh, then I drew Kit from Sonic, the IDW comics, cause he's really cute. And this was another thing I did, was doing for school. So yeah, I, we were making like some sort of craft thing. Uh, I drew some faces right here cause I like how big the pages are so I could like draw big faces and stuff. I like this one's teeth. I think he turned out really cool. And uh, he looks, I like him a lot too. There's another boy I drew right here. And then over here, I decided to like, I wanted to draw a boy that kind of looked like a girl. I don't know why I really wanted to do that. So I drew like an elf boy and he's like, looks like a girl, but uh, he's a boy and he's like, I'm a boy and or something. So, uh, art block, I had an art block here. So as you can tell, I was, desperately trying to get out of it. Uh, but I ended up drawing like some outfits I saw on Pinterest or some poses and that helped me get out of it. Um, this was for school as well. We were told to make like an animation and stuff. So I was like, oh, I'm gonna make a character for this animation. But the program we were working with is confusing to me. So making a character was hard on it for me. So I ended up just doing like blocks or something to convey the animation. I ended up not using any of these, even though they're really cute. <laughs> so yeah, over here I did some lighting studies. So I remember liking this one. I like how uh, dramatic it feels. And uh, I like how the form of the face, it like the shape of it. I really like this one. And then I also really like this one. She looks kind of evil or something, or kind of egotistical, but I really like her. So she's cool. I drew a pony over here. My siblings were watching through My Little Pony at the time, and I was feeling really nostalgic about it. So I drew a pony right here. And um, I was also playing through uh, Link Between Worlds. And so I decided to draw Ravio because he's super cute. And I also drew his little bird friend. Over here, I drew uh, a boy right here. And uh, to me, he kind of looks like Deku, you know, like when he has his hair all, um, he kind of looks like an Afro. I don't know, he kind of looks like Deku. Uh, and then over here, I really think she kind of looks like a penguin. I don't know why she looks like the ones that have like the yellow hair but I still think she's cute. <laughs> I drew a grumpy looking boy on right here. <laughs> and over here I drew a boy with really big glasses. Over here I was practicing side profiles because I'm not very good at them. So I'm trying to get better at side profiles. I remember not liking this very much because I didn't really care for how her hair turned out. So, and then over here I drew a boy and I inked him apparently because I must have really liked him or something. <laughs> I drew my OC Bexley and uh, just trying to draw her in different emotions or something, or like kind of looking uh, 
kind of put off or something. Over here I drew a girl kind of, uh, she's missing a tooth and stuff. She's really cute. I don't know. I like her. She's fun. <laughs> and then I drew Maisie Clyde, kind of looking not amused. Kind of looks tired. <laughs> Right here, I was like uh, seeing a lot on like my YouTube feed. Uh, it was like the cringy OC be like, and it's like a Mary Sue and stuff. And I was like, oh, I want to take the aspects of a Mary Sue and make an actually good character. But I don't have enough time to like explain everything about this. So maybe I'll make like a video about like how I would do that. So I don't know if that's something you're interested in. I don't know. Right here, I was planning for what I wanted to do for uh, the uh, Easter video. I drew um, the one girl. I can't remember her name now. Uh, I'll put it up on the screen if I remember later. <laughs> I was drawing a logo over here. Uh, and uh, then over here, I drew Shadow Link kind of looking sad. Uh, there's a theme in this sketchbook where I'll draw something sad and then the next sketch or the next page or something or then I have to draw the, uh, the character happy again or something because I felt bad about making him or her like angsty so <laughs> that's like a theme I do often in the sketchbook so if you have Shadow looks sad and now he's happy. He kind of looks mischievous here but he's happy <laughs> so I really like this drawing right here. Oh, and this is the redraw that I mentioned earlier. I do like this one. I think her head now is a little too big where like the other one, her head was too small. Maybe I was like trying to make sure that it was big, but I kind of overcompensated or whatever that word is. <laughs> I still think this one is so much better than the original one. She's actually looks like she's looking in the right direction now and her hair looks a lot better. But, uh, I should try and do this. I want to do this again sometime. Right here, I drew a boy. Not much to say in this page. And I drew another boy. He's kind of like based off of like a shark or something. He's cute. I like him. And then right over here, my pencil lead broke off. And so I decided to draw with the broken off pencil lead just to like challenge myself. And I that's what I drew with that. Drawing my OCs again. I draw them a lot. <laughs> so this is... uh. Clyde and Bexley, so do them in poses and stuff. Uh, right over here, I drew my uh, OC Neil. It's a uh, he's from like a conjoined or like a uh, story that me and my siblings like are telling together. So uh, this is a character from that. He's a little rat boy, and uh, so over here I drew him kind of angsty looking. He's like kind of scared or something. And then over here, I had to draw him happy. So I draw, I draw him uh, eating some cheese. Over here, I did one of those like illusion things that make it look like there's like a hole in the page. Uh, so yeah. And then I drew a character over here and I think she's really cute. I really like her design. I drew more of my OCs over here, kind of looking a little angsty, but I didn't actually draw them like happy afterwards. I usually like when I draw a character angsty or something, I always draw them happy, but I didn't do that here. Whoops. <laughs> Maybe I'll draw them happy soon. <laughs> uh, and then I drew just a random girl over here. Uh, this is the start of my uh, OC Emmett. He's from another story that me and my siblings uh, tell together. And so he's my character in that story. And over here, I just drew a random girl and I named her Orchid. She's cute. More Emmett. So in his story, he kind of gets scars and stuff. And he is like kind of like a vain character. So he feels sad and angsty about like his face gets all scarred up. And, you know, like throughout the story and whatnot. And, uh, and I had to like draw him happy now. So I drew him as a kid right here. So this is what he looks like as a kid. And then this is like him in the beginning of the story. This is where he's arrogant and like vain and stuff. But he'll get his, he'll get angst. <laughs> Here is for an animation I've been working on. It's been taking me way longer than it should. So this is like the planning I had for it and stuff. So then I drew Link with, over here. 
I do this, I don't know, like it's like a, I don't know if I would say angsty, like a vibe drawing, I don't know. I think I was like in a mood or something. And then over here I drew a random girl over right here. She's really cute. And this right here is the start of Valoris. And uh, I draw her more on this next page, but this was like me designing her. I remember not liking this, how this turned out. So I was like, no, not this one. So I drew, but this is how she turned out basically over here. And uh, so my idea with this character is that I wanted her to look kind of ugly, but in a cute way. So like she feels insecure. She thinks that she's not very pretty, but like she's actually kind of cute. And like throughout the story, she like gets more confident about how she looks and she likes to dress all cute, but she feels like nothing she wears, it makes her look cute or whatever. Uh, I'm trying to make sense. <laughs> but um, she's from the same story as Emmett. Like, and so they are like end up being friends and like helping each other through their angst and stuff. So I was working out the outfit over here and like that she wears a cloak and the different uh, elements of her outfit. And right here I drew her and Emmett together and she's like tending to his wounds that he has. And right here I was uh, practicing drawing uh, the one Squishmallow Orilla. And so I was trying to practice drawing her in different poses and stuff because I think she was really cute. Over here I drew some random faces and like they're, uh, I think I was practicing like different facial features and how I can stylize them and whatnot. And then I drew Emmett over here again because I love him. <laughs> More Emmett. So I was practicing different facial expressions with Emmett. And then over here is from another conjoined story that uh, me and my siblings have. And um, this is like a bird character. He's actually from the same story as uh, the rat boy from earlier. And I was trying to figure out how I wanted to do the beak. And so I was trying these. And on the next page, I tried more ideas and I didn't like any of these. So I won't talk about it too much. And then I tried this over here. I didn't hate this one. I just thought it looked too scary. Like it looked more like for a villain character and he's supposed to be a good guy. So it didn't really work. And this is a wolf uh, character from that same story and like they're friends. So I just decided to draw her here. But um, I kind of was like uh, sick of drawing uh, Jay. His, actually his name is Jay. Uh, so I got sick of drawing him. So I went back to drawing Valoris over here, drawing her in different emotions and uh, stuff. So. And then I over here, I drew uh, her having different hairstyles and stuff, and I think it's really cute. And again, I drew Valoris with short hair. I think this is what she's supposed to look like in the end of her story. Like she, uh, she actually has a scar, a really bad scar underneath her eye that she covers up. And uh, now like in the end, she's like showing it off and she's, uh, she's uh, happy with how she looks and no more angst, you know, it's all cured. <laughs> And over here I drew a little Gerudo uh, girl, she, and uh, this was for my animation as well because I'm going to have a Gerudo little girl in it, so I was practicing drawing her. Again, I drew Emmett more and I wanted to draw more of him and his like egotistical side, so um, I drew him like uh, somebody's like probably like, uh, like like what did you do or something and he's like are you talking to me you know like he's being cocky like he doesn't really care what anybody else thinks he just does things that are probably not very good and then i drew him in different outfits that he's in and stuff and this is his spray paint outfit which is kind of cool because he likes to in the middle then i like go off and uh vandalize some things <laughs> And then I drew Emmett kind of angsty, <laughs> like the angsty Emmett again. Uh, he's like drinking out of, uh, a, he has like a mug that says angst. <laughs> Over here, I tried drawing, uh, started drawing uh, Jay again, trying to figure out another way to make his beak actually look, look good. <laughs> and uh, I, re I think this, I thought this looked pretty good. So I didn't really care for the eyes. I thought they like made him look too young or something. So I d tried these eyes over here and I liked this better. So I decided to um, go uh, with something like this. But over here I 
practice drawing it more and made the beak sharper so I can have like more emotions or just stylize it in the way I like. And I end up really liking this and this is what I'm going with, I think. And uh, my sister said, oh, I want him to, you should draw him eating something. So I made him look like he's eating something. And uh, yeah, right here. And then I also drew him in a prince outfit because he is a prince over here. And uh, the wolf character earlier, she's like not amused about it. So that's what this is about. And then I drew some like eyes, like they have like chains in them and it was like a weird idea that I had for a while and so I finally drew it it's kind of creepy and then over here I drew a grumpy boy uh wearing like his hair is kind of like in the classic anime up hair you know what I'm talking about like where all the anime boys kind of have uh up spiky hair and then I over here I drew my uh one of my other OCs on uh, she's wearing a rose ring it's kind of like a creepy drawing because like um my idea is like that if like a rose ring it would have like thorns on it so it really like hurt so it would maybe be bleeding so it's a little creepy <laughs> but uh yeah there's actually like a whole story behind like the rose ring but I won't get into it because it's like a really long and so uh, I don't have that much time to really go over everything. Over here I d wanted to draw like a boy, uh, like an elf boy with a really big sword and stuff, but he ended up looking like another character. I don't know what that character is, but he looks so much like, I don't know, he looks familiar. Oh, this is probably around the time I started playing Tears of the Kingdom because I uh, got really obsessed with it. Like, I decided to draw Josha, Tulin, Sonia, and I drew little Korok because he's cute. And I drew so- or uh, I drew Yona and Sidon together. I really like them. I think Yona's super cute. I love them. And then I drew Minoru right here. I like Minoru. But her outfit- like, a lot of the Zelda characters, like, after drawing them, like, their- their outfits are just so complicated. And over here I drew Pura. I really like Pura's design. I like the red glasses and stuff. I thought she just looked super cool. And I drew her as a kid over here. And I really like how this page turns out with Paya. I love the red circles that I drew in the background. And uh, she turned out really cute. I like it. Over here I drew Link. Like when he gets a heart container, he always like looks super happy. So I drew him really happy over here. And then I drew Raru looking kind of sad, so sad Raru. Okay, the next page actually has spoilers, so um, for like the later on stuff. So if you've not like gotten to the fifth dungeon and done that, or gotten all the tears, that's probably a big spoiler. I don't plan on talking too much, so you can probably skip through it pretty fast or mute me for a little bit and look away, I don't know. So, you've been warned. Maybe I'll like put like a timestamp up or something like, oh, this is where you can skip to. So, sorry, you've been warned. So over here I drew the sages. So, uh, drew them all with like their sage thing, their secret stone, that's what they're called. So drew them all and I really was really I was really proud of how I did each of the characters I think they looked really good except for Tulin I think I did him a little dirty right here I'm sorry Tulin sorry <laughs> not really good at drawing bird characters apparently next I decided to draw I was wanting to uh, practice drawing dogs so I was trying to draw my dog Linus because he's so cute I love him and I'm not very good at drawing animals so I'm trying to get better at that I need to practice more <laughs> And over here is my wolf girl from earlier. And so I drew her doing some exp uh, expressions and some poses and stuff. Uh, and then there's this character. Um, I think I saw like this outfit on Pinterest and I thought it looked kind of cool. So I ended up drawing like a villain girl wearing it. And she looks kind of cool and creepy and edgy, which is kind of cool. And then I drew her like what she would maybe look like in a civilian form. 
so kind of cool. <laughs> then I was trying to uh, draw my avatar again, trying to figure out what I want for it because I still don't know what I want. And over here, I did another kind of lighting pose thing. Like I was trying to play around with lighting and stuff. I think this page is really cool. I like this page. Uh, I was feeling a bit sad, so I drew kind of like a sad, I think it's a boy, so he's like really sad right over here, but then to try and cheer myself up, I drew him really happy, and like the darkness is going away, and he's going into the light. <laughs> over here, I drew Rouge and Knuckles. I really like how this page turned out. I think it's super cute. Like, I was really proud of how their faces turned out. Like, Rouge is looking mischievous. Like, he's going to probably steal the Master Emerald again or something. And then, uh, Knuckles just looks really put out. <laughs> I just love it. And over here I drew Breath of the Wild Link because I've been drawing lots of Tears of the Kingdom Link. So, Breath of the Wild Link. I mean, they're the same character, but I wanted to draw Link before Tears of the Kingdom. So, yeah, that's that. And then on my Pinterest feed, I randomly got uh, like Mina and uh, Jiro from My Hero Academia. So I decided just to draw them for fun. So I think this page is really cute. I like this page. And then over here I drew uh, Serge and Kit because I like, I like them a lot. Oh, the next page does have Tears of the Kingdom spoilers. So uh, yeah, I'd maybe skip ahead of that a little bit too. Just a little bit of spoilers, I'm sorry. Um, so I drew Link looking really sad with the dragon in the background. If you know, you know. And then Zelda over here looking a little bit malicious. Oh, over here, um, I was seeing a lot on Instagram as I was scrolling, uh, like, um, that one trend where it's like, uh, you with the dark curls, you with the water colored eyes, or whatever. I don't know, and it was like stuck in my head, so I drew my characters with it. So, that's what this is what, uh, about, so... Yeah, and then I drew them hugging over here because it's super wholesome and cute. I love them. Um, I was on a Sonic Prime kick, and so I like, so I drew Nine and uh, Rusty Rose over here because they're really cool. I like these characters a lot. They're really cool. And over here, I drew Ganondorf, and uh, I beat Chains of the Kingdom, so I wanted to draw something to kind of like... Uh, be like, yeah, I beat the game, and so I have the date where I beat the game, so I always know, and so, yeah, it's a really good game. I love the game so much. It's such a good game. Uh, I hope there's DLC with it, because that would be so cool. Here's the last page, and uh, I decided to draw the characters from the first page, and, um, yeah, so I drew the, but I, I drew them in, like, modern outfits now or something. Like I do the fairy girl, the catacorn princess, kind of edgy boy, and then the chibi girl is no longer a chibi girl. <laughs> I wanted her to kind of match with everybody else, so they're saying thank you for going through my sketchbook and stuff, so yeah. So, so that is my sketchbook, and uh, yeah, thank you for watching, and this video is getting really long, so I'm going to end it now. So uh, thank you. Yeah. Thank you for watching and uh, hope you have a good day. Bye.